I promise you, I'm not trying to be messy and I am not, <laughs> I am not trying to get nothing started. I just want to talk to y'all. I just want to see, was it just me? And it's very possible, but I doubt it because if what I'm going to talk with you about is right, then I can't be the only person that saw it. Did you guys see the show today? I just want to know, did y'all see it? Now, if you didn't see the show today, you probably won't enjoy this podcast because I'm not going to play any clips and I'm not doing any videos because girl, I'm tired. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm really depending on those of you who saw the show to either say, no, I don't know what you're talking about or yes, I saw it. Now, remember, I don't want you to go look for it, you know, cause I'm like that too. If somebody says, well, did you notice such and such and such and such? And then I, if I really didn't notice it, I didn't notice it. But then the next time, you know, I'm around the person or watching the, whatever it is, I'm like looking for it. Do you know what I mean? So guys, here it is. Are they jealous of Anna? And when I say jealous, I mean jealous because today on that show, that show belonged to Anna. The audience loved it. They ate everything up that she was serving. From segment one all the way, y'all, to the end. She had them going. And guess what, girl? She had me going at home, too. I was giggling and sniggling and laughing, too. Um, I noticed that when she would make certain jokes, Sonny, Alyssa, Sarah, Joy, they weren't that excited about it. Um, during the Megan McCain joke, Sonny was. But I guess I'm speaking about the show overall. Like... They were just like looking at her at different points. Did y'all see Sarah look at Joy and roll her eyes when, when uh, Anna was talking? She did the same thing last season. Remember when, when uh, Anna was talking, she did it when, but Whoopi was the moderator. And I, I remember talking with you guys about that. So I'm not, I don't think that they don't like each other, but I, what I'm thinking is this is the exact same thing that started happening with Megan. And what I mean is this, okay. So remember the table we had prior to Megan coming, like, let's just say the year before Megan came, um, Jedediah and the, the women were friendly. There weren't any like ugly, nasty fights or ugly, even really, 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 uh, strong, strong, strong debates because they, they really liked each other and they were respectful of each other. Now there were debates, but I think you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so there was no real star. There was no one who really got all the attention. The attention was equally distributed between all the women. But then when Megan came, it changed because Megan was out there. She was, you know, she didn't care. And it was all about her. And all of a sudden, all the attention started going to her. The um, attention from bloggers, the attention from reporters, Megan's name with trend. And of course, if your name is trending, that means the show is trending. And of course, when I say Megan became the star, I don't mean in a positive way. I just simply mean all of the attention was on her. And then egos got involved. And how I know that is, were you with me a few years ago when I played uh, some clips of Sonny Hostin's interview with Jamel Hill, uh, Jamel Hill, former ESPN commentator? Well, if you weren't, I'll tell you really quickly. One of the clips I play from her interview, which you can still find on YouTube because Jamel Hill has her own YouTube channel and it's called Jamel Hill is Unbothered, just the same as her podcast name. One of the things um, she asked Sonny about that, like what really went on over there? And Sonny said, egos got involved and it was downhill from there. And so when I was watching them today and seeing how they were at times reacting to Anna and how the audience was reacting to Anna, I was like, oh no, egos are getting involved. Because for me, Joy is funny, but Anna to me is funnier than Joy. No, I'm, I'm not trying to compare them. I'm just saying, you know, for me, it is what it is, girl. <laughs> okay. And so I especially thought Joy didn't too much care for all the attention and the jokes she was cracking. And um, I don't know. It's like, um, I, just tell me what you thought. If you saw the show today, tell me what you've, what you're, what you thought about the dynamic. Listen, we're, they're all women. Most of us are women. Shout out to all of our guys that are listening and hanging out with us today, but we know how it is, right? Um, you know, the closer you are, you work with women or let's say you live in a home where it's uh, you and all your daughters, you know how it is. I mean, our cycles sync up. I mean, it's just it's just it's just 
because, you know, I, I keep reminding everyone, we're not just a body. We're spiritual beings, you know? And so at any rate, so, you know, they, they are, they're working very closely together. So I thought, is it possible that everyone's hormonal today? And I can say that because I'm a woman and I get hormonal. Is it possible that there, it's just, it's Friday and it's almost, you know, it's the weekend and people are just ready to get out of the studio. But I don't know. I just, I just saw a little something, something today that made me uncomfortable. And I thought, I really hope that this isn't happening, that they aren't becoming envious. Maybe jealous isn't the word, but isn't envy and jealousy the same thing? Or maybe it's not. Maybe they're just uh, similar. But I hope they're not becoming envious of all the attention she's getting from the audience, because I'll tell you, it's not like she's trying. I mean, maybe you think she is. I don't think she's like trying to be funny. I just think the girl is. You know, she just is that. She just has the comeback. She just naturally comes with the shade. And hello, people like it. So that's all I have to say. I'll wait to see what you have to say. But what I was going to say before I let you go, if if what I'm saying is accurate, then Whoopi will take care of it. You know, because the truth of the matter is Whoopi has been famous for so long. She knows how to deal with it. And think of it, guys. None of these women are are really celebrities. You know, Whoopi is the only real celebrity at this table. Um, But, you know, she knows how to handle it. You know, you think about Whoopi, all the things she's done, all the places she's been, all the all the 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 queens and the kings and the presidents she's met. And yet you don't hear her bragging about nothing. She barely even mentions anything. And she's always been this way. Um, She seems to be very humble. Um, But I feel like because she's got mama energy, you know what I'm saying? Meaning she knows how to handle a group of women that are strong and opinionated. She knows how to to manage them. Um, I feel like if this does get stronger and stronger, she will be able to take care of it, you know, and make sure that, you know, you know, there's some sort of talk behind the scenes. I don't know. So guys, that's all I got to share. I just wanted to chat and just kind of get that out because I'm telling you, I noticed it today. I actually noticed it last week too, yeah, too but that was between Sonny and Anna. But today it seemed to be all of them. And I was like, oh, they're not liking that this audience is eating her up, eating everything comes out of her mouth. They're just like laughing at it and giggling and, and she's got them smiling and she's just working the room, you know? Um, so yeah. Okay, guys, thank you for being here. My view on the view. I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye, guys.